And I did not get any of that on video. Love doing my job twice. Welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today, we've got a 2007 Toyota Tacoma with a bad wheel bearing. First thing we're going to do is get this caliper off of here. And then I'm going to decide whether or not I want to try to just pull the axle out of the knuckle or just take the knuckle off the truck altogether. Of course, all gutless doesn't move it. Nope. Gutless can't even break those loose. <sighs> no, this one's not nice. Got a brake line right in the way. Now let's see if Gutless can move them. There's 10, ten minutes worth of cranking. And another 10 minutes worth of cranking. The only reason why I use that thing. Now, gotta get the clip out of there. Ordinary pliers. Grab right a hold of the ear of the clip. And pull the clip right out. Now, utilize this hole up here. This rubber piece is supposed to be hanging on. Oh, that doesn't have a slot in it. Oh, and I'm not about to cut a slot in it. Unless I have to. Well, let's get this bracket off, which means getting the ABS wire loose. Which means getting the sensor out, which means turning the steering wheel the other way. ABS wire, 10 millimeter bolt. And you guys are gonna love this one because it's probably crazy overkill. 10 millimeter, six point. And get that all the way on and very gently massage the bolt. that they break up here. I say that was kind of clean. Alright, now oh uh, am I being lucky today? No way. There's no way. Nothing on this truck goes this easy. I think I just jinxed myself. Let's get this sensor out. It's moving but getting it out is a different story. And a little pry bar. Mm. Mini pry bar. Now we're up to 
about an eighth of an inch out, but it still doesn't want to come out the rest of the way. Oh lordy lordy, I got it out intact without breaking it. Lucky day. And then we get this clip out by reaching underneath. I have a pair of needle nose pliers. Grabbing a hold of the connector and wiggling it as I try to push it up through. This one goes front to back. Oop. Yes. Ah, long needle nose come up in from this way, I guess. There we go. Now we can sneak this through. Turn the wheel back the other way. Gently massage it out. It's the exact same thing I saw in the last Toyota truck I worked on. The two different sizes on the bolt. Helicoil on the bolt. I don't know. And it's stuck in the socket, but. See what I mean? You got two different sizes here. I don't I don't I don't understand that. There you are. There. Now everything's secure out of the way. I don't have to worry about it. Pretty much. I don't like that. And the rotor off. Oh, she's stuck. Hmm. Time to go get the little magic bolts. Using a chisel, a fine chisel and a hammer, I'm just going to tap a little bit in a couple of spots. started. Now I can change the angle a little bit on this.
Now we have a reusable, undamaged cover. Now let's go. Ooh, that's all nice and clean. Hmm. All right. Well, let's get this cotter pin out of here. It's a big one. Pull this thing nice and straight. Make for really easy getting it out. Usually. Oh, there we go. And not always, but usually. Thing to pry off is this little cover. Green fingernail polish. I don't know. Now let's go find find an axle nut socket that fits this. got four bolts in the back of this. Oh, this thing is rusty. Get some more PB blaster for it. Soak the daylights out of it. Seventeens. Oh, cut through all the rust. It's quite convenient that that's turning so easily because they just became my press. Oh, that is so nice. That is so nice and so unexpected. So unexpected. This is, this is wonderful. I get to use all four of these bolts as my press to push this hub out. Couple old nuts we've got laying around. Oh, 
Oh, 17 doesn't even fit on that 17. What the heck? Wow, gotta love rust. Okay. Now, let's see. I'll pick these two right here, opposite each other. For the biggest nuts. Not until it gets jammed. Not until it gets jammed. Snug them up a little bit. Snug them out. Snug them out. It's not working so well. Tight. Yeah, the question is, am I pulling the whole bearing out or am I pulling the bearing apart? Pulling the bearing out because this bolt got tight. So, it looks like we're not going to need any fancy pullers after all. Oh wow, this is almost turning into a dream come true. This stuff doesn't happen in the salt belt, what the heck is going on here? assembly off maybe a sensor ring in the back side of the bearing crusty backing plate and the old sloppy bearing That can't be. It's like somebody replaced this. It's new or something. And 
Got this back in uh, April. The cover for the other side because the one, somebody did the other side and destroyed it. Axle hub seal. It's important that you get these, especially if you're going to go into any water at all. And our new bearing assembly. Side here is still good, so I'm going to save this for the other side. Now let's get in here and get this surface cleaned up nice. Face of this covered with some anti seize, and hopefully, I don't get as much of that on me as I did with all the rest of this other yuck. All right, and we're gonna kind of catch in the edge here as well, just because there was some rust there. bearing actually comes in contact. Basically, anything to slow down the effect of what the road salt does. The more you coat, and the less rush you'll get, hopefully. At least that's the belief. Probably a good idea to get around inside that hole a little bit there. It spreads a little bit. We're gonna get up the top of this thing. I can't see. question is, is, did I get everything coated that I really wanted to get coated? Now let's get all of this nice shiny surface here. I failed arts and crafts class. I do a very good job of staying inside the lines. I do better with uh, RTV. There we go. All this nice and coated. I just, I don't like rust. I like nice shiny metal. But you can't see the metal underneath this, but at least I know it's there. Almost done with this. Alrighty. So we got everything all nice and coated. Backing plate up here. Oh. Yuck. Let's get this coated with some fluid film first. And just set it right there for the moment. Ugh. All right, now let's grab the nice shiny new bearing and slide this on the shaft a little bit here. Get it through the over the bolts. Navigate the 
the axle into it. bolts here just caught and then we're going to put a little bit of red thread locker or not red we're going to put some blue thread locker on these just to make sure that they don't uh, decide to back themselves out Thread locker. No! Are you freaking kidding me? These bolts are bottoming out. You're freaking kidding me. These bolts are bottoming out in the bore. On freaking real. Okay, well, looks like we're gonna have to do some modifications. Get these bolts the rest of the way out. These bolts are way, way too long. Look at the length of that bolt. Now let's compare that to the one that I took out. The one I took out, the bolt's flush with the end of the bearing. This one here, the bolts are almost a quarter of an inch longer, so we're going to have to modify this, cut these bolts shorter, and then we can use this part. Good job, China. Next. Next.
That one's still got to shorten up a little bit. Yeah, I think we're down short enough. Let's see. That's the longest one we got. Yep, we're good. There's the four ends that we cut off. So, let's try again. Now that all the bolts have been shortened so they don't stick out past the, the bearing. Uh, let's see. Everything's all been cleaned up. guys are going to love the bloopers. I actually put this thing on wrong, but that's okay. Pick it back apart. I love doing my job twice, you know. But it's one of those things where you, you get the camera involved, and I don't know, I have bad luck with cameras. Whenever I use a camera, something goes wrong. I do a lot better when I'm concentrating on the job rather than the camera. But... Now that I've got all of this done the right way this time, get everything tightened up. This one tight. Alrighty. Well, at least I'm still recording. Battery hasn't died yet. Yay. Alright, let's find a little happy one here. That's a good one. Cover back on again. Chisel, hammer. Now, let's get the Sensor back in place. And the brakes back in place. And the rotor. Where did I put the rotor? The rotor's over there. just to hold the rotor in place for the time being. Or not. Yeah, good enough. All right. Twisting any lines.
seriously? No, you're just going to not go together, right? Two. All right, let's get that sensor in. Up and over this little tab right here, and gently persuade it back down into its little hole. Back in it. Oh, this is the one that. Yeah, this is the one that goes in there. Yeah, this one here, we're not gonna go gorilla on. So we're just gonna gently snug this little bolt down. Snap the wire in place. Turn the wheel back the other way and get the caliper bolts tightened up. And now the top bolt that holds the brake cable and brake hose and all that. And that one is a 12. We're going to give it a little tickle. Back in. Now get the wheel straight, get the wheel back on, and wrap this up. So weak. Ugh. 
Good night, gutless wonder. There you have it, 2007 Toyota Tacoma access cab, four wheel drive, brand new wheel bearing. Hope you guys liked that one, and if you did, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for upcoming videos, and most importantly remember, you've got no more excuses, pick up those wrenches. You guys are going to love this one because it's probably crazy overkill. Six millimeter, ten point. Ten millimeter, six point. You know, at least I didn't get my face all covered in dirt yet. Alright, let's get this... Uh, Coated with some anti C. Oops, actually, brake cleaner and clean this out first. Well, all I can say is good job, China. Look at this. That bolt sticks out level with the bearing. This bolt sticks out a quarter, almost a quarter of an inch beyond the bearing. And I did not get any of that on video. Yeah, let's just hope I don't have any more problems. Something's not working right here. 